In this video you will watch APU installation on Boeing 777-300. We'll start with generator connection first. The diagram and AMM procedure. So this is the generator feeder lead which will be connecting on the generator assembly. And there are two plugs to be connected which is for controlling and monitoring purpose. So we will be starting with removing the cover for the connection. The cover is of ceramic type and there are two Allen key bolt on it. We'll remove the cover with the Allen key and then we'll remove the nuts. The feeder cable will be coming from fire forward fire bulkhead. There are four connections. Three is for three phase supply and one is for neutral. Each lead is named as neutral T1, T2, T3. It is color coded and even on the stud base assembly the numbered are mentioned so see to it that you don't intermingle or interchange the connection so right now we are tightening it with normal socket and ratchet the final torque will be given by the click type torque wrench so just for info we have generator not idg because apu is always running on the constant rpm so the generator will itself run on constant rpm we don't need constant drive mechanism for producing the constant frequency that's why we have no only generator not idg assembly so for this third nut we uh, due to this mounting we couldn't uh, use normal ratchet that's why we use this ring ratchet we are tightening it now we are setting the torque the prescribed torque was 144 to 168 pound inches in amm it was written in foot pound so we converted it in inches by multiplying it by 12 so we are using click type torque wrench we'll keep on giving the torque until we hear that click sound and we feel the slip for the third nut Due to axis problem, we couldn't use the socket on in this area, so we used crow foot for it. I couldn't take the video for that one. So once all the torque is finalized, we'll install the cover on it. Even the cover, this Allen key bolt has specific torque which we gave, very less torque. Now we'll connect the plugs. There are two plugs on generator itself. So this is the first plug which are connecting. And this is the second plug. So this is a small harness which we have to mount it on the airframe side. There are two clamps which has to be fixed for this harness. So we are installing it. For engaging the hardware we use the Phillips screwdriver. We cannot use socket in that for engaging purpose because you know that the hardware head will push back in the socket. So always use screwdriver for engaging and then the socket for tightening it. We are tightening it with the socket and ratchet. When you are tightening just see to it that the clamp is not pinching the wire and even the wire is not touched anywhere externally on any other surface. This is the second clamp which we are tightening. So APU harness connections. So this is the diagram for the APU harness. Each plug has got fin number. It will be fixed on the forward bulkhead. So this is the receptacle for the connection. And there are clamps. This is quick release type clamp. I have made complete video for this type of clamp. Uh, don't forget to watch it. it. The link is in the description. So the locking of this clamp is little tricky you should uh, know about this clamp while you are tightening if you are not tightening it properly due to vibration it will come out so don't forget to watch the link so right now we are engaging all the clamps before we do the connection so now we will uh, prepare for the connection we will spray it 
with approved cleaner before you do the connection just make sure that the receptacle the plug the condition of it there is no fod any external part it is clean properly the pins are not bent the pin is not pushed back then carefully engage it and then so slowly tighten it normally the plug should go by hand till end and uh, the final torque has to be given by the monkey plier so for the beginners uh, there is a blue line on the receptacle so when you're tightening it see to it that the blue line is fully covered with the plug this is like an indicator it shows that the plug is engaged properly inside so you can see the blue line on the receptacle which has to be disappeared when you are tightening the plug the final talk with the monkey or the soft jaw plier you can give so this is the last plug we are engaging starter motor connections so this is the diagram for the connection it is mentioning the torque value for each nut so the two lead one positive lead and one negative lead has to be connected on the starter so the, for the positive and negative lead the size of the stud the size of the hole in the lug and the size of the nut all are different for positive it is different for negative it is different so the reason is full proof design it will not interchange so right now we are tightening the nut and then we will give the final torque with the torque wrench you when you are engaging it just see to it that the lug is fit it properly in the slot it should not touch the side wall otherwise we have seen that the wall is breaking due to vibration so we are setting our torque wrench from 140 to 160 pound inches we are giving the torque individually both the nut is having same torque value so after talking just inspection then we'll cover it with this rubber cover grounding jumpers connection so this is the diagram for the grounding jumper which will be coming from the aircraft frame body and it will be connected on the stud which is located on the gearbox casing so we cleaned the connection first the lug and the stud and then we will engage it both the lug size stud size and nut all are same even the torque value is same so this was a washer and then nut we'll engage it and then we'll give the torque here the axis was very small so we took little longer time when you are tightening it just make sure that you are not touching any fuel line any wire harness or any other component if you like the video please hit the like button and subscribe the channel share it among your friend circle Now we are setting the torque value. The prescribed torque value was 480 to 520 inch pound. So we selected the middle value, which was 500, and then we'll give the torque. So as per the AMM, we did bonding test to make sure that this connection for the bonding was okay. The conducting value, it came less than 0.5 milli ohms. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.